All right, guys, here it is, the Mega Bass Okashira head. I've been asked about this head more times than anything, I think, on tour. And here's the Okashira screw head version and the original Okashira head. A couple new facelift items uh, on these heads here. One, it's an updated hook. It's, this is a Mega Slide coating hook. Easy penetration, it's super slick with a, with a gnarly barb, keeps those fish pegged. And if you look here at the shank of the hook, this is a hand-wrapped bait keeper design, a completely all original design. You can see the, here the red thread wrap, and it's almost a nylon keeper. So instead of like a metal keeper on other jig heads, that nylon keeper has a little bit of flex to it, and it keeps those salt impregnated swim baits from tearing very easily. So of course with the Okashira screw head here, it's got a asymmetrical design to where there's a tall blade and a short blade right here on the collar. What happens is when you cast this out there with a little three inch swim bait attached, it gives it a nice bup, 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 oblong vibration to it. There's a high spot and a low spot, much like you'd see in a spin bait or a spy bait. And it's basically a soft version spy bait. And when the fish bites it, it gets that one single big hook there. Really cool design. You take away the screw on the Okashira screw head and you've got the original Okashira head. And basically, this is an awesome head to pair with. Three inch Mega Bass Spark Shad, love that bait. It's a small mouth killer. Also catches uh, highly pressured large mouth and spotted bass. Or one of my favorites, three inch Hazadong Shad, uh, which is more of a finesse type presentation, okay? When, when the fish are even more pressured, the water's even clearer, I like to go with that Hazadong Shad. It's got a little less action to it. It's got a nice subtle tail movement. The other thing about a spark shad versus a hazardong shad, spark shad's full bodied. It's got a nice keel shaped uh, belly to it. it. Stays keeled up, it's a little more buoyant. It's just a full bodied swim bait. Whereas the three inch hazardong shad here, it's just more slender, more slim line. If you're noticing the bait fish in the water are a little smaller than normal, go with the three inch hazardong shad here. And rigging it is just as simple as a three inch spark shad there. But when you pair that head there with a three inch swim bait, um, it's just an ultimate finesse, just profile down there to get those fish to bite. We're in the fall of the year and we're fishing a lake here in Texas and there's a lot of fish suspended. Boats out here in 20 feet of water, I'm seeing a lot of fish suspended around bait fish down there in 12 to 15 feet. So plan on throwing this thing out there, kind of counting it down to the 10 to 12 feet and just slow winding it back. And that's the best way to fish these Okashira heads with these three inch swim baits is low and slow. One thing to keep in mind when you're rigging an Okashira head, whether it be the screw head or the original, is to make sure you thread the hook through the bait absolutely perfectly straight, right down the back middle spine of the bait. And the best way to do that is by looking straight down the barrel of the nose of the swim bait and basically starting the hook point right through his nose and with even steady pressure, just thread it all the way through right down his spine and then about halfway through his back, you pop the hook out. And again, with the, with the updated version of that threaded bait keeper, you can just thread it straight on there and it is nice and snug. Not only does that red thread wrapping provide friction for the swim bait to stay on there, but you know, the nylon keeper keeps the bait on there itself. So that's a fully rigged Okashira screw head with a three inch spark shad. That setup right there is absolutely killer. Albino, uh, just a white albino colored head with a Huo colored three inch spark shad. That's an absolute killer. Whether you're fishing tannic water, stained water, or clear water, um, that's an absolute killer setup right there. I will almost always have that rig tied up when I'm fishing highly pressured waters, ultra clear water, or areas of the country that have you know three and four pound fish as their kicker style fish.